AT6030 is a new metal bonder just introduced this year by WeldMap. It's an amazing product that develops up to 3,700 pounds of tensile strength on aluminum and steel surfaces. It's different from our other adhesives in several ways. It's slightly different chemistry. First off, most of our adhesives, like our AT2010, are one-to-one -one adhesives. AT6030 is a 10-to-1 adhesive. This requires different mixing tips and different plungers in the gun. Uh, so rather than using the one-to-one -one plunger, we now use the same gun, but we apply a 10-to-1 plunger to the gun before we can use this adhesive. Load the cartridge into the gun, just like our normal adhesives, but make sure the 10 and the 1 side are lined up properly with the plunger. Put them in and seal them in the gun. Take the cap off. And with this adhesive, we normally recommend that you first bleed off some of the adhesive to get out any potential air bubbles uh, before you put the mixing tip on. Squeeze until you see the black side running. The other thing unique about this adhesive is it uses an AT650 mixing tip. The tip comes with a elongated nozzle which you need to cut off before use to reduce back pressure in the nozzle. This goes on the gun with the bayonet mount and a quarter lock and now we begin to push it down the nozzle. When it first comes out it often doesn't come out dark black. It comes out sometimes at a gray color. Very important that the adhesive be dark black before you attempt to use it. AT6030 will hold a lot of our smaller parts up without uh, sagging, but for heavier parts we've developed a new technique using a small fixture dot to prevent sagging. This small fixture dot is contained on a roll, there are 300 dots on this roll, and it's a simple matter to take the dispenser and mate it with the stud and transfer a small dot to the bottom of the stud, if you can see it here. And then the way we mount this part is slightly different. Instead of putting one big dot of adhesive in the middle, we put a dot a little bit higher up and then run a small bead down like that. Set the gun aside and now you're ready to mount the part. It's important that you make sure that you bring the part in at a 45 degree angle so that the glue dot makes contact with the surface before the glue spreads out. Otherwise the dot won't hold. But basically, bed it with the dot and then bring it down and make contact. Push in slightly with a little bit of rotation until you squeeze the glue out all the way around the part and let it go. And that glue dot holds the part in place until the adhesive kicks.